I cannot believe what I'm about to start. I've thought hard and long about this all day. Today marks the day we retire our Slime Science Center. It is no longer being used, we have moved on, but today's the day that marks the start of Slime Science Center 2.0. And this area where I'm clearing out trees is going to be the footprint of our new building. This is going to be the true definition of a mega project, let me tell you. So as you may think, this building was going to be the new Slime Science Center, but not necessarily. This is Slime Science Headquarters. This is going to be the office building of the new Slime Science Center. Our Slime Science Center is going to be behind this building. It's going to be connected to this via Skybridge most likely, but you will see it towering over this. So right here is where it's going to be placed. A lot of this Slime Science Center is going to be underground once again though. Don't get me wrong, I love my Slime Science Center so much. I mean, it's not even necessarily finished to be honest, but uh, it's time we move on from this place, building a completely new style and completely new experiments. I will admit one of the biggest things driving me away from this place is this lighting error. It could be fixed, but this also gives us the opportunity to build new. And how I'm going to retire this place is get every villager out, that is you guys, such as KT Pepitone in here. I'll bring them to the new science center. We'll do a sweep of the place and get rid of everything that we don't need in here anymore. Might even get rid of some lights. Up, oh, such as these guys. And I know this is kind of painful to think about, but this is our chance to build new and better when it comes to the Slime Science brand. And believe it or not, it's going to be somewhat in this color tone. Not all of it. It's going to be different in various ways. But I want to go for a much more darker and grittier Science Center. So there's lots of planning ahead. I have lots and lots of material to gather. I'll probably spend a whole day just gathering material and chocolate boxes. Oh my gosh, can you remember that we <laughs> this was about to be the new Slime Science Center? Can you imagine that? This is a cool room though. I might copy this room for- actually I might even get rid of this all together and put this in the new Slime Science Center. How many times have I said Slime Science Center? But that leaves us- what should we turn this building into? If you have any ideas, let me know. But let's begin designing our new workplace, where plenty of science experiments are gonna go down. Wow, this is a cool view. It's gonna be towering over this building right here, but this is also part of it, so... I have lots and lots of sand and gravel and squids to kill and gather, so enough talking, let's get to work. I'm out gathering resources, got my shulker of sand, I'm about to get gravel, and I found something that could really be used in the new Slime Science, no, I'm tired of saying Slime Science Center, in the new SSC, a really PO'd Wither Skeleton Head. Look at that. So, if you didn't know, we used to fight our withers way off- That's what makes no sense. Way off that way in a desert. And this one's like facing this way. So, if I run and jump into that, it will blow up and I'll get the effect. But, dang it, I need a new journal. I want an SSC journal so we can start keeping track of projects correctly. Make tombs for Connor Keslin. What? I guess I forgot to do that. I'll write it down in this. Nice. Hopefully it stays there. <laughs> it's interesting. Okay, many hours later for me. I want to see if I like this layout. That's not bad. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I might mess with it a little bit, but uh, yeah, I like doing this. That's what I did with this building. I just kind of made it unique. Now, it doesn't look that big, but trust me, that's pretty big. It's going to be... <laughs> it's going to reach the clouds. And then we're going to have a sky bridge connecting from that side to this building. But remember, our main lab at this place is all going to be underground. Underground gives you a lot of freedom. You don't have to worry about the shape of the outside, you just dig the area you want. Oh, you have no idea how excited I am. <laughs> the lab is like my favorite thing in this whole world, but we haven't been there in a while and it's kind of made me a little sad. And the idea that we're about to create a whole new lab with all kinds of crazy new technology. Oh, look up. Yeah, that's a big building. <laughs> this is some exciting stuff. So this main building, I'm not exactly sure what's going to be in it. It's almost just going to be like the entrance into the main lab. I just want it to be majestic. So now comes the fun part. I'm going to build the shell. It's going to look like that quite a bit once I'm finished, and then we'll run through and do what we did to the front of this building. Although I'm not learning my mistake I made with this building right here. Is making the shell first really limits what you can do on the inside, but I think I can handle it.
All right, that's one choker box full of <laughs> this concrete powder. Oh, this is going to take a while. Now, I thought about using some different colors, but I really wanted to match this because that's a Slime Science new color scheme. I got one box left, and as you can see, the stripes every so often, this just breaks up the solid pattern. That's wool, so I do have sheep farms way over there, but I might as well just build one here. What? What? I didn't even look at you! Many hours later, much gravel and sand gathered. Lots of squids killed. I'm in that mindset where I just can't wait to start building the lab itself, but I know I gotta get this building finished. And that's all I've got. <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't even look like much, but that is an absurd amount of concrete powder and even wool. It's just, I only have three stripes on of wool, but that is stacks upon stacks. Oh my gosh. So what do we have? One, two, three layers. This is probably going to go up about 12, 14 layers high. <laughs> we can guarantee this won't be finished today. Maybe I can start focusing on one side. I don't know if I'll do that or not. The sheep, it look like I can breed some more. Another thing is, is I didn't really line this up too well. I wonder, yeah, we can get a sky bridge. Ooh, maybe, yeah, it's going to be a little awkward. The sky bridge connecting this to that. But it can definitely be done. I can hire some of my elite architects to take care of that. Oh yeah, look at these chests, by the way. <laughs> this is all the mountain. I had to clear a whole mountain just to build this here. I get all of this flint. is because I don't have silk touch on this, so when I gather gravel, obviously I get a lot of flint. But I'm keeping this. I don't throw it against a cactus or anything, because I kind of forget there's a fletcher. I need to put down a fletching table, and I can trade all that. How are we looking from the bridge? <laughs> Ooh, I haven't looked at it from over here yet. I kind of like the idea of there being a forest here. That looks nice, but I was planning on this being the front. So I was going to landscape all of this, make like a huge entrance. Or wait, I don't know where I want the front to be. I put in a few stripes of black wool just to, you know, change it up. It actually, w it actually would look pretty cool keeping it this color, but when I add in all the details, I don't want all the gravity of the powder falling, so I am going to turn it that color. But I am stopping here because these outer sections right here, this is where these are stopping. But this inner section right here, these blocks, they're going to continue up, so I'm going to build the little roof piece around here, similar to what you see right there. Well, actually, I'm going to do something fun first. Can I get up there with one rocket? No, I hate you. Ugh. If you do it just right, you can get like a little sliver of water going down to the bottom. Go fast. Fast slime. Fast. How's that look? Does it look cool? Whoa. Oh, that's cool seeing it change colors like that. I posted on Twitter the idea I have here. And a lot of people are curious what I'm going to do with the old lab. I can't remember if I mentioned it already, but I'm gonna run through there, turn out some lights in some areas, take all the villagers out and bring them over here, and just kind of put boxes around the whole place. Get all the good resources out, and just make it look like I don't work there anymore. Again, I know it's pretty sad. It, it, it was hard for me because I love the place so much, but that's the journey of this world. You progress and do new things. You can't stick around doing the same thing forever. Otherwise, things won't change. These are the best places to gather gravel. I don't know if these biomes still exist, but this is in 0.9.0 generation. And I don't know what you call these. What is this biome called? It's just a mountain biome, but covered in gravel extremely. As you can see this giant quarry I'm making here. Gosh dang it, I need to get a silk touch. This is such a waste, getting all this flint. By the way, there should be a flint block in the game. Am I right? I've mentioned this before, but imagine a block colored similar to that, like a shiny lead color. It'd be like another version of a metallic block. Oh crap, what, what time is it? I gotta head back to the old lab. I gotta perform one more surgery before we shut it down. What do you mean? I'm a doctor. I'll turn the lights out, just get some rest. Just take those pain kills I told you to take. They're homemade, just trust me. Where is my receptionist? What is this? What? Where's the bed? No wonder this 
lab has gone to crap. It's still a deciding decision if I'll keep it operational. I haven't made that decision yet. Pepitone? What are you doing? No, 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 no. Why on earth did you change your prof- Oh, it's because I never locked your- Whatever. What do you mean? What, what do you mean by that? I just got done doing surgery. What else would I be looking like this for? Huh? Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at all the space we have for the lab that's not gonna be underground. We're gonna have labs up here too, but uh... It is two days later of just- well not since the last clip, of everything you've seen so far. Just two days gathering resources and building this. Just the structure. Like I haven't even went through and added the details yet. And it is finished. It is raining a bit. But yeah, as you can see, the very top piece, I decided to add like a slant just to change it up. I like it. And I do think I want this to be the entrance, but now I have this issue where I have this random highway that's elevated across here and I have all these trees that I actually like being here. Because if we head up and look down, this could actually be turned into like some sort of park with trees. But the slums are also over here, so we can't make it look too good for them. But I'm just imagining some sort of big logo on the front of this, like just a giant SSC. I'm in love with this building. It's just consumed so much of my time. I'm going to add just a few details into it, not all of them, because this is not going to be finished today. Maybe I'll build some antennas on the top. I like my space agency being this close because it makes everything feel like it's part of Slime Science Center. So everything in the city beyond this way is just going to be slime science related. How do these smokestacks look? Ooh, that looks fine. Well, I kind of like those. I slowly turned it into like one point. Those are cobblestone walls on the top. That always makes smokestacks look a little more intimidating. I put a smaller one behind it there. I like it. Don't ask what these details are. If you just start throwing things in, buttons work as well, but if you have like one solid color like this, like just get another color of concrete and just put a stripe in there and put buttons on it. It doesn't make sense, but it just makes it have more detail. Oh no. I forgot one massive detail I did on this building. You see every so often I went through with concrete powder and did like these strips and weird lines. I think I'm gonna wanna do that there too. Even the buttons. Oh, there's so much to do. Even the redstone torches. It can be done in due time. And you know, one thing we really neglected in the old Slime Science Center, and that's the main reason I picked to build here, I haven't even told you yet, is aquatic stuff. Looky here. We are finally building next to an ocean. Oh, I really need to change. So as we build underground and start building the new lab, we're going to have tunnels that go through the ocean so you can look up at wildlife. We're going to have airlocks so you can go swim in the ocean and perform experiments. Another thing I really lacked in the old science center is I feel like I didn't do enough experiments. I mainly experimented with new features. This time I actually want to perform experiments. I think the only experiment I really, really messed with over in the old lab is where we tested certain items being blown up by TNT and how it can resist it. Oh, by the way, I'm coming over here to get bamboo. Um, this place right here, I think for the new year, I am no longer gonna put signs in here because as you can see as I come in, oh, it is framey. So I still gotta replace that lectern and these three signs. I don't, don't worry, I'll do it. I'm gonna color all of them, the ones that need to be colored, but this place is done as well. I know it seems like I'm trying to leave this area of my world, but I'm, I'm not. I'm literally just not putting signs in here anymore. It's because it is getting very slow. It's mainly because of the glow ink on the signs. But somewhere near the city, on like the top of a mountain, I'm going to build like a sanctuary. And that is where we're going to start putting the new donation signs. Because you guys are just so incredible and you guys just continuously donate. I'm not just going to give up putting your names in my world. I'm going to build an even better church. It's not going to be really a church. I think I'm going to do like some sort of sanctuary. We'll see. That's a future project for us to handle. Feels weird being back home, doesn't it? <laughs> it does for me. I'm just in here. Oh yeah. Where's a crafting table? I need a crafting table. I have like no scaffolding. It kind of sucks. I need scaffolding. <laughs> Remember last episode we made that little sugarcane farm. I haven't touched it since. Like I said, I wouldn't. I actually was going to build stuff, but I still just have that little sliver of like six plants. And that's been supplying me a lot of sugarcane for my rockets while I've been working over here, believe it or not. Okay, so 
I think I'm just going to do every so often on the building. We're gonna do something weird like this. Just like almost like panels. It's not gonna to look too misshapen like the ones on that building. Oh gosh, I keep forgetting I still gotta do the back side of that. Yeah, I kinda of like that. So imagine like panels like this every so often in vertical form. Sometimes we'll do like side or horizontal ones. I don't know, just another form of adding detail. While I'm doing this though, I will answer today's comment question of the day. No. Carson start the second. Or Carson's tart the second. Oh no, that wouldn't be right. Carson So it could be Carson start. No, it can't be start. Oh, Carson star the second. Oh. Or Carson's tar the second. No, Carson's tarth. Are you going to slash plan to build a sewer in the city? Absolutely. And I know, I'm, you're probably surprised I haven't started on it yet, but that's mainly because the city isn't really developed yet. So, I was really getting into the idea of the sewer back at home, but I just felt so limited in some way. You know, the deep underground sewer that has been recently built over there, I want to add on to that so much, but where do I take it? There's nowhere to take it. We ended up going all the way down into Deep Slate and building that train down there, and I don't even- I stopped that because I don't even like the idea of that train being down there. It doesn't make sense. So if we ever do head back down there for whatever reason, I'm gonna get rid of that train and just make it a giant pit of goo and all that. But, why do it over there when we can do it here? And since we're gonna be starting to build underground soon, I want there to be a deep underground system here. Like areas of the lab where we're doing like illegal pouring of liquids into the sewer stream. That's why I made this book, SSC 2.0, because we're going to be writing down all the ideas in there. Oh crap. Ah, I'm not getting them on the other side. This is a precious block in my opinion, so... I want to save all of them that I can. Look at all this room in here. I could have full on... I mean, this is just the above ground section by the way. We could even do a village simulation lab in the building itself at some point. Which I am going to reanimate that project, but it's going to be without like a actual sky. I want to make like a pretend sky with sea lanterns and fake clouds. That'd be so cool. I'm so excited that I'm starting this again. The lab was just such a fun build. There's so many opportunities. And while I'm continuing to blabber, I'm going to go ahead and uh, thank some donos. I started a new book here. Ryan Searfoss. Oh gosh, I need to check now. Ryan, I can't remember. But holy moly, Ryan, that is a massive, massive donation. Thank you so much. Ryan, 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 Ryan. There you are. Uh-oh. Sorry, Ryan. You're not a villager yet. <laughs> hey, like I said, I pick them at random, so there might be a chance that you just won't be added right away. But I'm trying to get... I didn't get one out this episode. That's a shame. I got four villagers out last episode, though, so that's pretty cool. Thank you so much for the donation. That is very thoughtful of you, especially in that amount. And Nigel Julin, thank you for your dono as well. And Michael Buckridge, uh-oh, with a mighty, mighty donation. Michael, thank you so much for that. Oh, there it is, Mike Buckridge. Crap, you're not out either. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm slacking, but it's okay. Michael, my man, that is very thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. And Spade Goed, if you put those around, it would be Geode. Does anyone ever call you Spade Geode on accident? <laughs> Thank you for that big donation as well, Spade. That is very thoughtful. I can name a shovel after you, actually. I'll think about it. <laughs> and Benjamin Clifton. Thank you for your dono as well. And Louis Herbst. Thank you as well. That was all. Wow, that was a lot this episode. Or last episode. You guys are amazing. Man, would it quit raining? I can't even look at my details. But you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I'm just going to dot that all over the place. I got it in this one here, though, guys. This build is just massive and took forever i'll probably build on this next episode and get great amounts done i can't wait for it but uh thank you everyone for watching this episode so much i appreciate all the support i'll see you in the next one bye bye and i'm gonna go get changed <laughs>